Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good afternoon. Okay, um, so today we will continue our lecture on the topic probability distribution. So last lecture we already learned okay the introduction of probability distribution, how to construct the <coughs> uh, the probability distribution, and then how to do the graph okay uh, and now for today we will continue the next part which is uh, how to find the mean variance standard deviation and expected uh, values for probability distribution okay so you can find this uh, notes in order okay chapter 5 part 2 Okay, so expected value mean and standard deviation. So for probability distribution, we can find all these uh, things. Okay, and there is uh, there are specific um, formula to find the mean standard deviation where uh, various and also expected values. Okay, sorry, I'm uh, missing the various part here. Okay, so we start with the mean, okay, formula of the mean of a probability distribution. So, the mean of a random variable with a discrete uh, probability distribution is known as mu. So, mu is x1 times px1 plus x2 times px2 plus x3 uh, times px3 and until xn times Pxn. Therefore, we can uh, summarize it as summation of x times Px, where x1, x2, and x3 until xn are the outcomes of Px1, Px2, Px3, and Pxn uh, are the outcomes and, P and uh, the Px1, Px2, and Px3 are the corresponding probabilities. So, kalau kita tengok balik yang last lecture, okay, previous lecture punya notes tu, kita ada tengok yang, okay, uh, kita kena buat kalau dalam uh, probability distribution table ni, okay, number of heads ni contoh eh, uh, x ni adalah, uh, number of heads tu adalah kita punya x. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, kita punya probability is uh, the correct, uh, ikutlah corresponding uh, probability untuk step 1 tu 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 3 over 8 and 1 over 8 so untuk dapatkan mean semula kita menggunakan values yang memang ada dalam probability distribution table tu sebenarnya kita just darabkan sahaja okay, x dengan the value of x with the px and then kita uh, cari dia punya total summation untuk overall Okay, so this is mean for probability distribution ni. Kita tengah tengok sekarang ni. So, kalau kita lihat, um, okay, contoh rolling a die ni. Okay, this is the scenario when you use a die with, um, okay, ada six surfaces. So, we know the uh, the numbers is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is the outcomes. The outcomes is uh, our x. Okay. And then, every uh, number that appear have the same probability. Sebab kita tahu uh, yang uh, rolling a dice ni uh, memang setiap nombor tu dekat uh, permukaan tu hanya satu. Hanya satu saja dia appear. Okay. So, dia tak ada... Um, Sebab ini adalah dadu adil. Uh, Maksudnya dadu yang biasa tu lah yang kebiasaan kita guna tu. Uh, jadi um, kalau appear satu, untuk appear satu bila uh, bila kita baling hanya satu kali. So probability untuk satu tu adalah 1.6. Begitu juga untuk dapatkan nilai 2, 3, 4, 5 dan 6. Jadi untuk dapatkan mean. Okay, dia kata find the mean of the number. So untuk dapatkan uh, mean value okay so summation of x times px so uh, 1 
times 1 over 6, plus 2 times 1 over 6, and so on and so forth. And then uh, the, the value that we get is 21 over 6, or 3, 1 over 2. Okay, it's, you can also uh, write your answer in decimal, so 3.5. Okay, so next. Okay, in a family with two children, find the mean of the number of children who will be girls. So, they are not the two sahaja. So, sama ada dua-dua lelaki. Maksud kalau dua-dua lelaki, no girls lah. So, zero. And then, one boy and one girl. So, only one girl here. And then, both of the children are girls. So, two. So, one over four. 1 over 2 and then 1 over 4. Okay, so hence the mean is mu equal to summation of x times px, so 0 times 1 over 4, plus 1 times 1 over 2, and then plus 2 times 1 over 4. So we get the answer is 1. Okay, the probability is 1. Okay. Okay, so maybe you can, you uh, might forget, already forget or uh, confused how we get the probability 0 uh, is equal to 1 over 4. So, uh, ingat balik, bila buat benda, soalan macam ni, kita kena senaraikan dulu kita punya sample space. So, kita senaraikan dulu kita punya sample space kat sini. Okay, kalau kita senaraikan sample space kita, tadi saya cakap, Kita boleh dapatkan boy boy uh, boy girl and then boy 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 girl and then a girl 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 boy okay so no okay. All right. So, kalau satu sahaja, I, no, sorry, a zero girl. So, this one. Okay, both are boys. So, one over four. Mana dapat empat sebab total space, uh, sample space kita ada four kat sini. Okay, we have four here. So, for one, okay, we have Boy girl and girl boy. So 2 over 4 is equal to 1 over 4. Okay, this one. 1 over 4 juga. Okay, saya, sebab saya uh, kuatik uh, kalau kalau bila jumpa soalan macam ni, awak terus lost pula macam mana nak dapatkan sebenarnya probability ni apabila tidak diberikan. Sedihnya ingat balik, basic hari tu untuk dapatkan probability, kita kena-kena pasti dahulu kita punya sample space. Okay, macam tu, uh, next is toasting uh, three coins. Find the mean uh, of the number of heads that occur. Okay, three coins are toast. Okay, so, so the not heads that occur. So, number of heads, okay, Z, we have here 0, 1 over 8, and then uh, 1, 3 over 8, and then 2, 3 over 8, and then 3, 1 over 8. So, the mean is mu equal to summation of x times px. So, we get the uh, value is 1, 1 over 2, or 1 over 5. 
Okay, the value 1 over 5 cannot occur as an outcome. Nevertheless, it is the long run order theoretical average. Okay, sebab kita tahu uh, macam bila dapatkan nilai min tu sebenarnya uh, maksudnya kita dapatkan nilai yang uh, average outcome kita. Okay, average value of our outcomes. But then kita dapat kat sini 1 over 5 sedangkan kita tahu uh, coins dia ada value dia uh, sama ada head or tails lah. Okay sama dan uh, uh, tapi nilai yang kita dapatkan itu adalah uh, secara theoretical sahaja. Theoretical average. Okay. Number of trips of five nights or more. The probability distribution shown the uh, represent the number of trips of five nights or more the American adults take per year. So that is six percent do not take any trips lasting five nights or more. Seven percent take one trip lasting five nights or more per year, and etc. So find the um, mean okay so number of trips is uh, our x so the probability for zero uh, zero trips for five nights and more is 0 0.06 and then one only 0 0.7 2 0 0.2 3, 0.03 and then 0.01. So, kalau kita lihat kat sini, kita dapati yang uh, 70% daripada American adults ni uh, okay, pergi trip for 5 nights and more but only once. Okay, so let's see. Uh, mu is equal to summation of x p x so kita darabkan sahajalah x kita berapa uh, darabkan dengan p x dan kita to total upkan so kita dapat 1.23 so the mean of the number of trip lasting 5 nights or more per year taken by the American adults is 1.2 so kalau kita fikir logik pun macam mana nak macam mana nak dapatkan 1.2 trip tu kan ok sebab tu tadi ada disclaimer lah dekat atas ni yang menyatakan bahawa pengiraan ini adalah secara theoretical average. Okay next. Tadi kita dah tengok mean. So the next part is our variance and standard deviation. So for formula for the variance of a probability distribution is uh, find the variance of probability distribution by multiplying the square of each outcome by its corresponding probability uh, summing those products and subtract the square of the mean okay and subtracting the square of the mean the formula of the variance of probability distribution is uh, summation of x square minus p x okay and then minus mu square so, the, so we know that the standard deviation is the square root of variance. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, let's use the same example, rolling a die. We know that the mean is 3.5. Okay. For the uh, the example above, okay, yang kita tengok tadi, 3.5. Uh, Okay, find the mean of the number of spots. So, kat sini kita dapat 3.5. So, dia minta kepada kita untuk cari uh, nilai uh, variance. Okay, menggunakan contoh tadi. So, square each outcome and multiply by the corresponding probability. Sum those products and then subtract the square by uh, of the mean. Okay, so... Kita tahu, okay, uh, maksudnya awak kena fahamkan betul-betul sebenarnya macam mana nak masukkan values dalam formula. Sebab kalau tu salah masuk, jadi salah lah semua sekali. Jadi yang kita perlu squarekan, okay, kalau tadi mu hanya uh, x 
darab dengan PX. Tapi dia, untuk dapatkan variance ni, awak perlu squarekan awak punya X terlebih dahulu. So, X square. Kalau kat sini, 1 square times 1 over 6 plus 2 square times 1 over 6. And then you have to total up this value and then minus with the mu square. So, we got the value is 2.9. And then the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So, square root of 2.9 is one of uh, 1.9. 7. Okay. Sama jugalah untuk contoh yang uh, selecting number uh, balls ni. A box contain 5 balls. 2 are number 3. 1 is number 4. And 2 are number 5. So the balls are mixed and 1 is selected at random. Okay. So setiap satu tu uh, probability dia berbeza-beza lah sebab number 3 ada 2. So the probability untuk getting number 3 is 2 over 5. And then uh, number 4 only 1 so 1 over 5. And then number 5 is 2. Uh, sorry number 5 uh, has uh, uh, has 2 balls so uh, 2 over 5. So di sini kita lihat tak sama lah macam yang dice tadi. Dia punya probability semua sama sebab semua bilangannya sama. Okay so untuk uh, untuk contoh yang ini awak perlu buat secara berperingkat. Okay cari dulu dia punya mean. Mean adalah summation of x px. Okay untuk variance uh, summation of x square px minus mu square. So uh, hanya 10 square kan dia punya value x darabkan dengan px and then tambahkan and then Minus dengan dia punya uh, mean value. Dapatlah variance. Dan jika perlu dapatkan standard deviation hanya square kan. Uh, square root kan sahaja. Okay. Boleh juga kalau awak nak lebih mudah dah jadikan Uh, okay, buat secara table ini. Okay, kita ada X dan ada PX. So, kita dapatkan X PX and then X square PX. Okay, baru masukkan dalam formula. Okay, next is expected value. So, Expected value or expectation is another concept related to the mean for a probability distribution is that of expected value or expectation. So expected value is used in various types of games of chance, in insurance or in other areas such as a decision theory. So the expected value of a discrete random variable of a probability distribution is the theoretical average of the variable. So, the formula is mu is equal to E x. Okay, E x. Okay, E besar ni adalah expected value. So, uh, the formula is summation of x p x. Okay, so the symbol E x is used for the expected value. So, the formula for the expected value is the same as the formula of the theoretical mean. So, the expected value then is a theoretical mean of the probability distribution. So, EX is actually mu. Okay, when expected value problems involve money, it is a customary to round the answer to the nearest cent. Okay, so let's see. Okay, a special six-sided die is made with uh, which three sides have six spot, two sides have four spot, and one side has one spot. Okay, dia ada enam permukaan juga tetapi nombor-nombor yang ada di situ hanya uh, enam, empat dan satu lah dot 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 dia tu. Okay, so if the die is roll, find the expected value of the number of spot and uh, that will occur. So, this is how you uh, can find the probability. So, kita tahu tadi kita ada six, uh, four and one, okay. This is our value of x. So, the probability kita kena tengoklah berdasarkan kenyataan di atas. Okay, kalau uh, hanya one spot, we have only one, so one over six. Uh, four, four spot, 
we have two, so two over six. So it appears here one over three, okay. And then six spot we have a uh, three, so three over six is one over two. So the expected value is summation of x px. So x times uh, px, okay. Uh, total then kita kena totalkan dia, okay. So for one over two. Notice that you can only get one four or six, but if you roll the die a large number of times, then for the average it will be four one over Okay, next, bond investment. A financial advisor suggests that his client select one of two types of bond in which to invest uh, $5,000. So, bond X pays a return of 4% and has a default rate of 2%. Bond Y has 2% percent return and default rate of 1%. So find the expected rate of return and decide which bond would be a better investment. Okay, so kita nak cari expected value dia. Okay, the expected return then is uh, XPX. So uh, Okay, we know that the uh it will get four percent. So five thousand times four percent is two hundred. So two hundred is uh only zero point nine eight. The probability why this happened because <coughs> okay because it has a default rate of two percent. Okay, maksudnya. Uh, daripada 100% 2% memang uh, akan dapat uh, uh, lagi 2% akan dapat untuk 2% ni. Okay, default rate dia. So, they got 96%. Okay, untuk uh, return bond of uh, on Y, uh, y bond pula. Okay, uh, 5,000 times 2 0.5 percent, we got one to five dollar. So the expected return is some uh ex equal to one to five times one uh zero point nine nine okay zero point nine nine uh and then five thousand times one percent here so seven three point seven five. So the bond x will be a better investment since the expected return is higher. Okay, so uh, what I can conclude here is, okay, uh, untuk uh, for this topic, probability distribution, okay, uh, the first thing kalau kita tengok the uh, the very first step, you must uh, know how to identify your sample space first. And then from your sample space, you have to identify the probability of each x that you have. And then from that, you can find your mean because the mean is very easy. Okay, just uh, you have to times x with the px and find the summation. And then uh, you have to remember, okay, maybe uh, you will account uh, question that do not use uh, mean, okay, uh, do not ask for the mean, but it asks for the expected value. So, it is the same, okay, it used the same formula too. And then for variance, uh, okay, it is a summation of x square px, mm, uh, and then minus with the mean, mean square. Okay, you can also construct table to do uh, your variance and standard deviation. So I think that's all for this topic. Okay, I try to answer all the tutorial question because it's, uh, I will convert it as your individual assignments too. Okay, and um, last, um, we, will, we will meet face to face on Monday. Okay, and I wish you have a good day. See you next week. Assalamualaikum.